Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's Ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today, it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place and the riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently, and whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. for you, little eels. What's the matter? Too much knitting to do? Crawl back to the river. You ain't a real gang. You're just a bunch of mudlarks. Come on and fight. Or are you too busy making dresses? Come on! I'm gonna speed you. Come on! Get this guy! Jump on this! 
I'm stymied. I thought dragging it up out of the mud was a hard part. Welcome to the Draper's Ward Salvage and Resale, or the Black Market if you'd prefer. It's Dowd, right? Recognized your face from the posters. Not that I'd ever say anything to anyone, believe me. I'd be happy to have you for a customer. What are you selling? The best of Draper's Ward, all for sale. Say, would you consider doing a job for me? There's a man whose debt to me is well past due. I'm not a bill collector. I don't want the money. I want his head. I pay you well. And you can use the money to buy things from me. I'll do it. Huh. Thank you. Skin Flint is a chain smoker. He likes to light up in the old canal tunnel and play Nancy for coin. I'd start there. Make an example of him. Got it. Now well, let me see what you've got. Please, take your pick. City's dead. Someone won't make it three more shit. months. you don't have any roses. What can you tell me about Delilah? I used to make clothing for the Caldwins, you see. I adored them, especially young, precocious Emily. She was such a delight. Did you ever meet the Empress? She was so special. And I was able to count her among my friends. I had a lock of hair from young Emily keepsake given to me by the family when my hands grew too stiff and clumsy to work the needle. 
I have treasured it so. And Delilah? She visited me here. Such a surprise to see her, all grown up. So serious. Did you know she was once a playmate of Jessamine's? Before she was Empress, when they were both little. I thought it was a cordial visit at first, but it turned frightening. What happened? She made things come out of the shadows, long and grasping. I can still feel the cold on my neck. I sound mad, don't I? Perhaps I am. She questioned me and left me propped in the corner like a bolt of cloth. I couldn't move for three nights while she made the horrid markings you see now. Then she stole my only keepsake, my lock of hair from dear sweet Emily. Ah, uh, Emily, where are you? Damn that Corvo and damn Delilah.
Surely somebody is out there. Watch it. Someone, Someone wants to kick the guy. Wakefield's a hard man, but he's not as fun as Lizzie. Lizzie enjoyed it more. Yeah, even Lizzie never drowned victims in a sack. I still see him squirming for air. Yeah, how's he gonna top that? Edgar Wakefield is on board the Undine. He's put all of the eels on alert since Lizzie's rumored to have escaped from Coldridge. He's expecting her. You will undoubtedly be a surprise to him. Hey, blow off, Chopper! Wakefield sealed himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath for dumping contraband if they get caught. Perhaps the Undine is no different. You ever get that creepy feeling of being watched? I've had that a bunch lately. Funny you ask that. I had this feeling of eyes. Smoke or eat? Shut up. me, Dowd. Not long ago, I watched you kill an empress and steal her child for coin. For a man like that, you went through Coldridge Prison with an awfully soft touch. I wonder, are you hoping it will change the way things work out? Maybe. Maybe not. The song's almost over, and when the music stops, we all fall down.
is assuming control of the dead eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Your friend Edgar Wakefield set me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you fucked him. Took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But... The following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. That piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. Ship seems fine to me. I took the engine coin. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the header gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The geezer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So they're real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back.
doesn't mean there's an invisible man watching us. I'll ask him how he does it. Are you crazy? <laughs> what? Stand where you are, Hatter. What are you waiting for? I can't stop you. Do it, lady. You do it. You're always bragging about your kills. Nothing to brag about here. Let him loose. This is making me sick. Get out of here, Hatter. Run! Quiet, city. Almost like it used to be. Let me just a few. Get caught up. What's the password? Whalebone. Come in. 